What up, y'all? Jericho Green. I'm here, and I want to talk about the mass shooting that took place this weekend in Tampa, Florida. I'm sure you've heard about it. Madden 19 tournament. Uh, some kid, I'm not going to say his name. I'm not going to say that dead piece of shit's name. But some punk-ass kid, he got whooped up on early. He lost. He was probably getting roasted on his way out. Got mad. Went to his trunk. Came back. Started shooting up a bunch of people. Unfortunately, he killed himself. And I say unfortunately because I think now is a good time to wish for a little bit of police brutality. Would, would you have been mad if the police beat his ass from his eyebrows to his toenails? Hell no. He deserves it. But this is what happens. Though. This is what happens when your mommy's little angel and you can do no wrong. One thing that most of these mass shooters have in common is they come from single parent homes. Which means no testosterone. Just mommy. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. I'm sure he was one of those yelling through his closed bedroom door. Fuck you, mom. I don't want to eat. Listening to his fucking sad black fingernail polish emo music. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't care if he closes his door. He, he deserves his privacy. Fuck that. Teenagers don't get privacy. You get the illusion of privacy. But you best believe when you leave the house in the morning before me, I'm all up in your drawers. I'm under your bed. I'm in between your mattress. I'm checking it out. I'm seeing what's going on in your life. You owe that to your children to be up in their business and see what the fuck they're doing. Because when you don't, shit like this happens. And you see pictures of him. I guess he's been in these tournaments for a while. He was a bug-eyed, dead-eyed, skinny little punk bitch who probably got picked on, who got bullied. Someone gave him a swirly and shoved him in a locker, so he's justified in shooting up a bunch of people. And when did this bully shit become such a big issue? People have been getting bullied for generations, for millennia. I got bullied at school. I never killed anybody. And if bullying is such a, a trigger for this stuff to happen, then how come more older brothers haven't been killed? Because no one's a bigger bully than your older brother. Older brothers are assholes. The verbal and physical punishment is unfucking real I had an older brother. He was a dick. He's my best friend now. He's a great man. But growing up as kids, he was an asshole. As are most older brothers. My brother tied my hands together behind my back and tied my feet together. Put one of his dirty socks in my mouth and shoved me down the stairs. Should I have went in my dad's room and got his gun and blow my brother's fucking head off? No. But this little weak punk bitch pussy, he couldn't handle it, so he came back and shot up a bunch of people. Fortunately, it wasn't a lot of people, but anybody at all is sad. And, you know, rest in peace to those people who are on, who are, whose lives were taken. They're there to play some video games. I get shot by some punk bitch. But I can hear him now. I, I can hear the footsteps of the gun control people. This is another log on the bonfire of gun control. We need more strict laws. We need more strict laws on guns. You shouldn't have guns. Let's ban guns. No, let's ban these dumb motherfuckers. And I wouldn't be surprised if it came out that he was on some kind of drugs. That's another thing. That's another common thread through a lot of these, sh these mass shooters. Is they're on drugs. Prescription drugs. But, you know... They're only getting publicity because it's a white dude. If it was a Muslim or a black dude, they wouldn't say shit. A mass shooting, the definition of a mass shooting is when four or more people are shot and or killed at one time. I can tell you a story right now. Some six people got killed in a restaurant in the hood by one dude. He ran up in there spraying, killed six people. I bet nobody heard about that shit. It doesn't fit the narrative. It doesn't fit the evil white man, take all your guns narrative that the left wants. The left wants to take your weapons. A population that is unarmed and dumb is easy to take control of but there's another one another shooting another dumbass i don't know whether his weapon was legal or not it probably was a lot of them do get their guns legally and that's going to happen you know there's a lot of people in this country there's a lot of guns people are going to slip through the cracks but it's not the fault of the gun dealer and it's not the fault of the gun Guns don't kill people. People kill people. I know you've heard it a thousand times and it's cliche, but the shit is true. If you have a gun, take it out, load it, put it on the floor. Nothing's going to happen unless a dumbass picks it up and starts shooting somebody with it. But here we go. Jimmy Kimmel. He's probably already cried on his show over this bullshit. That motherfucker cries all the time. Jesus Christ, he's going to be sponsored by Kleenex. Anyway, y'all, I won't be done with the left. I can't be. They won't let me. They keep doing dumb shit like this. Jericho Green. I'm out.